Number six, killer bees. The mere mention of their name should scare any predator. But if anyone does choose to take on a pack of these killer bees, they have a proven method of making them regret it. If the hive detects a threat to itself or its colony, it will attack. Africanized bees or killer bees attack their foes, like all bees, discharging toxins into their bodies. But the story isn't over yet. The toxins release a hormone that attracts other bees and alerts them to the location of the enemy. So if you're stung by one of these critters, get out of there quickly since their friends aren't far behind. Number five, squid. Not all of the squid rip themselves apart. The deep sea squid, known as Octopodithus deletion, attempts to employ this tactic to escape being attacked in an attempt to get away from predators. These squids are located in the Pacific Ocean and reside at depths of 400 meters to 800 meters. They can reach a lens length of 24 centimeters. When the squid is in distress, they will deliberately attack one of their legs usually one that has been captured by a predator ripping its legs off. The squid employs sharp hooks on each leg to implant them into the skin of a predator, leaving them securely entrenched after they've been severed, which can confuse the predator. After harming the predators, the squids flee. These sea critters are prey to predators such as the giant granada, so they are always in danger of being eaten. Number four, sea cucumbers. They're another type of sea creature that defends itself in unusual and occasionally fatal methods when they're attacked. Some sea cucumber species shoot out sticky threads that immobilize their enemies, giving them just enough time to flee and get away from danger. Others, on the other hand, have a more complex defense mechanism. Their muscles flex violently when they are threatened, forcing parts of their internal organs out of their anus, shielding predators. Many predators are poisoned by these organs, which kill them or cause them to suffer to the point where they give up and flee. Because sea cucumbers can regrow their organs, this action does not necessarily kill them. This trip can be taken without much effort, but if a sea cucumber takes it too often, it might bring difficulties and eventually death. Nonetheless, most sea cucumbers find a practical approach for preventing prospective predators from eating them. It's a disgusting act that would almost certainly kill most other animals. Number three, the hairy frog. Because claws aren't an option, the hairy frog felt there had to be another method to stay alive. When it is threatened, it breaks its bones so forcefully that they protrude through the skin. The animal then defends itself with claw-like projections, much like a low-level wolverine. This is known as a complex fracture, and it raises all sorts of red flags when it occurs to a person. You're not just risking a shattered limb, you're risking infection as well. This behavior is not unique to the hairy frog. The ribs of the Iberian ribbed newt are known to be broken. The bones protrude as poisonous barbs, daring anyone to hug it. Number two, the Texas horned lizard. The horned lizard from Texas has glands in its eyes that it squeezes, causing blood to stream from its eyeballs. This lizard can subsequently spray the fluids as far as five feet away on any approaching predator. The attack isn't without repercussions. It can cause the horned lizard to lose up to a third of its blood. The phenomenon is designed to be unexpected, but the blood also stinks and repels most canine and feline predators. Number one, lemurs. Millipedes are among the world's most dangerous creatures. They use cyanide to kill anything insane enough to eat them as a protection mechanism. Then the black lemur makes his appearance. Because the black lemur can't make its poison, it must rely on the millipede. When the black lemur sees a millipede, it attacks it just enough to release its venom. The lemur then rubs the toxic chemical all over himself. To keep insects at bay, the poison is employed. Another impact of the poison is that it intoxicates the lemur, causing it to wander around with its mouth open and drooling before moving on to a bug-free life. It lets the millipede go since it doesn't want to eat a creature capable of producing such a potent toxin. 
That's how particular creatures defend themselves, and how it's fatal. Please give us a thumbs up and tell us what you think in the comments if you appreciated this video. Check out our other videos on our channel, and subscribe to join in the fun. Click the notification icon to receive notifications when new videos are posted.